this May video presentation, I will be talking about uh, what I think the best manufacturing process would be for making um, belt buckles. So I have two of them right here. Something similar to this. I'm sure many of you also have belt buckles lying around. I think that the best manufacturing uh, process that could be used would be a casting process. Uh, more specifically, I do believe it would be the lost wax casting process. And the steps of that are to create a metal die and then you then inject wax or a plastic into that mold and it creates a pattern. And then you dip the pattern into a ceramic slurry and then you can dip that and dry it multiple times that'll change the thickness of it. And then you dry that mold, you heat it up and dry that mold to melt out the wax and you pour the wax out so that you can uh, bake the ceramic and then you then pour the molten metal of your choosing, whatever you're going to make the belt buckle out of, um, into that ceramic mold. And then once that's solidified, you break the mold and remove the part. So an advantage of this would be that you can do a tree, which would increase productivity. So you can um, do many belt buckles at a time. And it wouldn't really need any finishing processes because it has excellent surface finish and accuracy. And almost any metal can be cast. And it can make uh, very intricate shapes and geometries, which if you've seen some of like some of like the western cowboy looking belt buckles, they have very intricate designs. So that would make it a lot easier for those to be created or manufactured. And there are no parting lines, which is also an added bonus. Uh, but some disadvantages would be that you can't make extremely large parts. However, I do not believe that a belt buckle would exceed the size limit for lost wax casting. And that is my video presentation on how a belt buckle is made.